I'm going to show you how to do the background with the spider web um, folding uh, embossing folder. And what we're going to do to have the white on top and the back in the ba the black in the background, we're going to brayer on the folder. So, first thing you want to do, let's get your black ink pad and your brayer. And you're going to brayer on the side that it's smooth. This one it's raised up, so the side that it's smooth. I'm going to move my little do that here and your um, folder gonna stay black I'm gonna warn you what I wash mine with it's the stays on cleaner and that worked very good I try soap I try all different things and it was staying black so with this um, stays on cleaner it worked great and then you just rinse it after. Okay, now you can see I get a very good layer on this. Now I'm going to take my piece of white cardstock, put it down here, close this, better shut this too. Okay, now big shot, put me here. Okay. I'm going to do my sandwich, put this on top, this in the bottom, oops, here we go, make your sandwich, this here, and just roll it, and move the big shot away, you know my room is very small, but we make it work. So now I still have the white and the black. That's where I got the the ink went on. And then for the boo here, what I did, I took my big alphabet, my essential alphabet, and I did the eggplant and then a pumpkin pie. And then I just gonna glue them together, just off set them a tiny little bit. Now I get my B and for my beautiful eyes there I did the large oval you're gonna need three of them and I'm gonna explain why you're gonna need three and then the small oval you need two that's for the white of your eyes so I'm going to glue this one. I had glue one there too. Try to speed up this project a little bit. And then I got the tiny circle punch for his eyeball. Here we go. I'm going to make him look cross side a little bit. Okay, the extra one I told you about, we're going to cut this into for the eyelids. Just turn it a little bit around like this. Take the other part. Here we go. Oh, that's when it's a way higher, so I didn't want too much in the middle, but that's going to work. Then I took my um, a little dauber with craft ink. So then you're going to see, if not it's black on black, you don't see it good. And I just went around. This one I put a little bit more. It's all good. Here we go. You know in those videos you just get, you have to do it below 10 minutes. 5, it's the best for download, but sometime, you know, you go a little over the 5. Here we go, one eye there. And then this one, I'm going to put him this way. That one go the other way out. This one go in. Then I'm going to put this little eyelid. Oops. And then the other one. 
And you know what? I like it when is I go a tiny little bit under. If it's not, here we go. I'm gonna put it just so maybe it would be better if you wait to put his little eyeball there at the end. Here we go. Then take your gel pen. Do his little. Uh, so your card, it's pretty much done. Then this one I had black there. Whoops, I forgot my little spider here. Let me reach. Here it is. Spider, it's from Dark and... I cannot... Dreary. Here we go. Can you say it again, Nika, please? Dark and Dreary. Here we go. I cannot say that for it save my life, so... It's sad. Oops, don't go away. Here we go. She's telling me to hurry up. Must be the minutes are flying by. So after I put um, my little spider on it, I would put my eggplant in the back, and then my main card would be the pumpkin pie. And voila! Now you have it. Hope you learned something new. Till next time, happy stamping.